hello friends so in this video tutorial we'll talk about the quantitative proteomics so quantitative proteomics is made up of two word quantitative and second word is proteomics now what is the proteomes so proteomes is a set of all expressed protein in the cells so the you can say protein which are able to express themselves whether they are enzymes or any kind of structural and globular protein so they are known as proteome but rather than this the proteomics is a study of all kind of proteomes and it was first you can say studied by and identified by mark wilkins and its colleague in 1994 so it is little bit uh, new study which is going on now and it generally focus on the large scale of this protein okay so uh, proteomics involve the study of composition structure function interaction of protein which are you can say expressing themselves during the life process of the cell or you can say cell cycle of the cell so there are various kind of techniques by which you can uh, analyze whether the protein is expressing itself or not so two types of uh, techniques are there or technologies are there traction proteomics and expression proteomics so expression in the sense you are using something which is uh, you can say detect the expression of protein and uh, the interaction in means you are using some kind of ligands and other kind of molecule which has high affinity towards any particular protein so now what is the aim behind what is the purpose and application behind the proteomics so first is uh, you can say mining data mining you have to store data then protein network mapping then my biomarkers discovery which is a very important things okay so from that thing you can easily able to uh, detect any particular protein sequence similar to another protein you can compare to different protein and the proteomics also helps to determine whether uh, you can say drugs is going to accept or you can say interact with any particular protein or not so drug discovery and development requires proteomics what is the effect of any particular drugs on the expression of protein so that is also an important thing then in a cancer research and there are so many kind of cancer today and so many medicines are also available in a market so the study has been carried out with the help of uh, proteomics and personalized medicine medicine yes that is the uh, now different term than the general medicine general medicine is a you can say average all all expression of gene in the set of population of human but personal genes plus personalized gene is a kind of you can say thing in which you are going to study each and every protein of any particular person and you are going to uh, make medicine to restrict or prevent the disease in that particular man only okay so that is the application next topic you can say procedure of proteomics so first one is a sample preparation in the uh, you can say proteomics first we have to uh, gather the sample so sample based on the you can say whether it is uh, any serum albuminin sample or whether it is uh, any hair sample so all the things you can say uh, where the protein is present or any particular part of the cell where the protein is present you can select them and you can separate the protein from any particular cell by various centrifugation technique on the basis of density gradient centrifugation you can easily able to separate the protein uh, yes protein are actually a uh, macromolecule right so they may be settled down as a pellet and as a supernatant you will get another kind of uh, cell organelles and now how will you you can say separate the protein from any particular mixture or you can say purification of protein after se uh, separation there should be a purification so purification is uh, you can say carried out by ionization as you know most of proteins are negatively charged particle and some are also positively charged but on the basis of the charge you can use the chromatography technique to separate protein from the other kind of uh, molecules which are not uh, you can say uh, part of the experiment then after that you have to do mass spectroscopy and 
database utilization mass spectroscopy you can uh, it is a you can say uh, used to determine the concentration of any particular protein in the sample so that is the procedure of protein mix and then with the help of other kind of bioinformatics tools you can create a computer database and you can store it subscribe my channel and